President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump kicked off their rematch of their 2020 contest with competing rallies over the weekend in Georgia. Voters in the Peach State go to the polls tomorrow for their primary, and both candidates will be looking for signs of what's to come as the state is set to play a critical role in November. CNN's Julia Benbrook has more. Four years ago, President Joe Biden won Georgia by roughly 12,000 votes. It will no doubt be one of the most watched battleground states in November, and both candidates are already making their case to voters there. Dueling rallies in Georgia over the weekend as President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump compete for support in this key battleground state. During Trump's speech in Rome, Georgia, the former president took aim at Biden's State of the Union address, calling it partisan and angry. We all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant of a State of the Union address. Wasn't it? Didn't it bring us together? Just about 60 miles away from Trump's speech, Biden spoke in Atlanta and slammed Trump for, quote, who he keeps company with, pointing to U.S. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, who was at Trump's rally, and right-wing Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, who Trump met with on Friday. Well, we all know Donald Trump sees a different America, an American story of resentment, revenge, and retribution. That's not me, that's not you. The race for the U.S. Senate will not come through Georgia like it did in 2020 when Biden won by roughly 12,000 votes, leaving it up to the Biden campaign to mobilize voters without the help of key down-ballot candidates. The road to the White House goes through Georgia, and uh, I can't wait uh, to continue to make the case uh, alongside Joe Biden in the months ahead. Biden's Georgia stop helped kick off his campaign's new I'm on board tour, where Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris have plans to travel to every battleground state in the coming weeks. Biden was at a campaign event in New Hampshire today, and he's set to visit Wisconsin and Michigan over the next couple of days. Trump does not have any campaign events currently listed on his schedule for this week. Reporting at the White House, I'm Julia Benbrook.